Well, I've got another small modification for my scroll saw. Stick around and I'll show you what it's all about. Hi, I'm Paul. Welcome to my messy workshop. Like I said in the opening, I'm going to do a little modification my scroll saw. Uh, if any of you have been viewers for very long, you know that I have an older model Hegner scroll saw. Let me turn the camera and I'll show you what the problem is and I'll explain how I'm going to fix it. Now the older model Hegner scroll saws have a star knob that tightens the upper blade clamp. Looks a lot like this one that I have in my hand. It's just a little stud. Goes in and tightens the clamp. Works fine, but the problem is I'm older. I have some arthritis in my hands and to get this thing tight and loose is uncomfortable to say the least. Usually what I end up doing is either putting a glove on or wrapping a rag around it or something like that. Well I've got a solution for it so I'm going to show you what that solution is. On Higner's website they do sell what's called a quick clamp. That has a little bit of a different type of upper blade clamp and it also has a bigger knob to grab onto so it makes it easier again to loosen and tighten that upper blade clamp. I didn't want to spend the $35 plus shipping to get one so that's the main reason I made the modification I made to mine. Well once I kind of had in my mind what I wanted in the way of uh, the knob I uh, went to Fusion 360. I designed it I'm not going to show you how I did it because I'm not that good at Fusion 360. I'm learning the program myself. There's probably 10 better ways of doing it than I did it. But what I ended up with is just a, a cylinder, a solid cylinder, and I made the recess for the knob, and I put some knurling on the outside. And once I got that all done and I was happy with it, I saved the file, and then I opened it in Cura, and uh, I'll show you what I did over there. This is what it looks like after I uh, opened the file in Cura. Now Cura is a slicing software that you use to uh, convert the Fusion 360 file into a G-code file that the 3D printer can understand. And it's also where you set all your settings for how you want the 3D printer to print. As you can see down here, to print this thing, Cura estimates an hour and 28 minutes. Uh, if I made the infill a little less, then it would print a lot faster. There's other things you can do to change the printing speed, but it estimates an hour and 28 minutes. I got plenty other things I can be doing while it's printing, so it's no big deal. I'll, I'll save that file. I'll put it on an SD card. I'll stick the SD card in my 3D printer and uh, I'll show you a picture of it printing on the 3D printer but uh, that's how you get it from the Fusion 360 type file to a file that the 3D printer can recognize. Well, here's the final product. As you saw on the 3D printer, it's just a piece of uh, PLA that I printed out. And it has, see if I can get it to focus here. There we go. It has a knurled edge on it for easy grabbing. It has a recess there that fits over this handle or this knob. Uh, you can even just leave it on there like that. Or what I'm going to do is put a little piece of double-sided sticky tape right there so that uh, I can put that on. It'll stay there, but uh, I can get it off if I need to. Now to tighten or loosen the blade, all you need to do is grab a hold of the big knob, loosen it, take the blade out, put it back in, and tighten it. And Well, that'll stay better when I put some tape on it, but you get the idea. It just makes it much easier to tighten that knob and loosen that knob. 
if I find that the knurling is uh, is too much, I also 3D printed one with a smooth outside that fits on there and it works the same way. Well, that's a little modification I made for my Hegner scroll saw. If you'd like information on how to make these, shoot me an email. I'll be more than happy to send you the file. My email address is down below in the description. I really appreciate your watching. If you haven't, please subscribe. Uh, click the little bell next to the subscribe button. You get notified whenever I post a video. If you give me a thumbs up, I'd sure appreciate it. And until next time, thanks for watching.